for his 325 mile quest. Green flag back out. Gibbs on the outside. Michael Self with a great restart. Actually in front of Gibbs in the corner. And it's drag racing preceding drag racing. Who's going to win the race off two? They're still side by side. Yeah, but Ty's got that preferred line down there. Three and four. Michael Self not going to give it up. Oh, Both he's corners gonna... racing and oh, here we go. Incredible. What a job. What a job by Ty Gibbs. Going to give up the lead. How surprising what? we don't have two crashed cars. We still may end up with one. There is shucking and jiving going on all over. Oh, a little payback right there. Not a doubt in my mind. Ty moved them right out of the way. But incredible. You're right, Dave. That was absolutely incredible driving. And look who's inherited the lead. Right now it's Brett Holmes. But Sam Ayer has Sam got a loose. Surprise. Yeah, Sam got loose underneath. Brett had to take and save that thing. And that opened the door for Haley Deegan. Where did she come from? <laughs> Haley. She's smart. I'm telling you, this young lady has done a great job this year using her head and being at the right place and not panicking when things are going on like that. She's got herself up in a second with all that going on. Ty Gibbs has been shuffled back to fifth, now fourth to the inside of Tanner Gray. Where's Michael Self? He's way back in ninth. They were the leaders when this thing started just two laps ago. Well, they, they may have been leading, but they're lucky they're both not on the record right now because that was that was a wreck that didn't happen. And meanwhile, Brett Holmes, the Munford, Alabama native, leads this race. The man who doesn't have any support from any team, any manufacturers. You look at the replay here. The 18 and the 25 nearly got together. Is today in his 67th start. There's the 23 taking the lead, bringing Sam Mayer along with him. It's today the day that Holmes wins. You can see right here, Ty gets right down on the side of him. You know, I mean, I, I'm going to put a little blame on both those guys there. It's just racing, Michael, right? Michael drove down there, but Ty did not give him any room. And you have to give room on these racetracks, mile and a half. Battle for second, Sam Mayer's caught Haley Deegan. A little touch of the fender there, maybe stealing a little bit off of her. 21 now races into second. Deegan, though, going to look up back on the inside. Trying to cross over, couldn't quite get back to the throttle in time. Uh, or maybe dirt racing, doing some slide jobs here. Yeah, very good. There again, I'm going to give Haley some credit right there. She didn't drive it down in there over her head. She, she let him have the spot, and she's still racing. And her car's loose. Man, she has got her hands full. And Ty Gibbs now looks like he's still got all the speed inside of that Monster Energy Toyota. Yeah, I think Ty's on a little mission right now. And we've got a fourth caution now out on the racetrack. Oh, That's no. because Thad Moffitt has found the wall. Yeah, he's... He's gotten into a hard right front. The deck lid is off of it. That's going to make life tough for that Ford racer. It was in about eighth place. Not only did he hit the side of the race car, it looks like he backed it into the fence as well. Found the going tough in Phoenix. Other than that, as well as Pocono, he's putting together a really good year. On his onboard camera. That's just how fast it can go away. Yeah, we, we watch out the front of that thing. You see it sliding up in the corner and gets up in that dark, dark black, and there's no grip up there right now. It has not been run in. And even though he was about half throttle, he just couldn't get it slowed down and came around on him. What a shame. I talked earlier about how consistent he's been all year, running and finishing around fifth, sixth, seventh, and doing a great job, and it won't be the case today. Well, team will take a look at that, do what they can. He's part of the DGR Crosley 4 team. But there is definitely a lot of work to be done there. We'll even be able to get him back out to be determined. But a moment ago, you saw what looked like a nervous Shane Huffman, crew chief for Brett Holmes. Nervous because his driver is in the lead, but Michael Self, Ty Gibbs, and about three other cars. Boy, there was about a five-wide battle going on here just a little bit ago. Well, you come down through here, and you're, you're Drew Dollar in the middle, lad. Your, your spotter's saying one inside, two outside. You're like, are you kidding me? I'm four wide? <laughs> you don't know what to do. You just hold the wheel straight and hope for the best at that point. Here's where you think, perhaps. Tyson, you know what? Oh, yeah. Me, I'm going to help you. Yeah, that, that was a little 
payback. There's not a doubt in my mind. You know, we 